Oh, it's like six o'clock in the morning. You probably can't tell because outside, but man, it's early. It's fine. Today is the big day, guys. I've been looking forward to this for so many days now. It's finally time for TFCon. I am so ready for this. I am so, 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 so ready for this. I got a few more things packed on that I want to show you guys um, on this trip. I hope that's okay. I hope that this isn't this isn't just going to be a TFCon trip because we're doing a few other things while we're up here in Toronto. Oh, wow. Well, we will be up there in Toronto. Um, so yeah, I'm super duper excited to take you guys with me and my family, and we're going to go check Toronto out. So let's get to that airport. You could actually make a compilation of all the times he's made a fart noise. Just two dogs at the hotel, just chilling. Not quite sure what's happening. All right, ladies and gents, we're at lunch. Got the chicken tenders and fries. Dad, what you got? Burger. Mom? Burger. I wonder what's happening here. I don't know. They're watching tennis and yeah. We might head up to Toys R Us slash Walmart depending on what we decide to do. So yeah, I'll see you if we do that. Alright guys, Walmart's first. Yeah, oh, uh, yep, there. See, I'm telling you, we could just make a montage of this. This video gets like 4,000 views, then I'll make a three minute long montage of my dad making montage fart sounds. I'm leaving that in. I hope you... Canada, this is what you've got? Basically what our Walmarts have, except for Rumble. I've never found Rumble before. Don't you even think about it. Um, oh, Mohawk. I still haven't opened him yet. <laughs> That's cool. That's the first time seeing him in, in stores. I don't know. This is pretty cool. Trash Master. You got both your Voyagers. Basically, your, your basic stuff. Nothing too, too exciting. I mean, I, I just think finding Mohawk is pretty cool. But, um, uh, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's it. You guys can get a good look, a good panorama, what we've got going on. And yeah, that's Walmart. Um, we might go to Toys R Us. Weather might allow us not to, but yeah. Can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, or er, and forever, back at Toys R Us. First thing that caught my eye was this Antagony which is already open, by the way. Let's get you a look at that. That figure looks sweet. They got a ton of sweeps over here. Go in. They got a wind blade. 
Got Magnus, some newer legacy stuff, some older legacy stuff, lots of old legacy. Um, just so many of those Ross things that you can find for seven bucks. But try to find this guy, find the plate at the show. <sighs> they have this Origins Jazz, which I've been looking for forever, but some turd took the chest plate. So either I'm gonna ask if they have one of these in the back or not get it. Or, or get it and try to find it at the show. Get it and try to find it at the show. Which I doubt. It, which I doubt. We we also opened it and tried to see and it wasn't in there. You might get it discounted. But is that how much it's selling? No, 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 no. Forty two ninety nine. Which is how much? Thirty one. Thirty one dollars. So they sold it to us for like half price. That'd be decent. I, uh, I don't know. Because okay. it goes for 48 49 on eBay. It's really not worth anything about that chest plate. Uh, yeah. Unless I displayed it in alt mode. Which I, I could very well do. Yeah. I actually might do that. If I can get that for $15, then that might be worth it. I don't know. We could ask if they have one in the back. No, they're not going to have it. They have all their product out here. You sure? Yes. All right. Yes. Well, we're going to take a nail this time. Oh, yeah, they have this red knockout, which is kind of cool. And Ness Bone Crusher, who gives me PTSD. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Toys R Us, first time in forever. I'd say it was a, it's, it's all right. Five out of ten stuff. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy I'm here at the you know, whole toy store. Two hours later. Seeing more influenced by the comic than the original cartoon and stuff. So, like, it, it's been pretty amazing to go to Target or wherever and see that stuff on the shelves. You, you worked on uh, Ultra Magnus. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess I had more direct stuff I did for Hasbro. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, that Ultra Magnus is pretty cool to get to work on. <laughs> So are they doing effects? Looks like they're doing effects and painting like you do. Tomorrow. Day one. Here we go. Okay. Look what we found, guys. Two of the new stuff. I find it crazy how I basically have everything on this rack. Is that sad? It might be sad. Dude, that's so sick. Dang. Hey, look, it's the, um, the Ninja Turtle thing. But you should be able to get. It actually looks really good. I'm just gonna just record. See what happens, you know. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> oh no, those stink. Those are masterpiece ones. Those aren't the good ones. The trains look good, but everything else isn't. I used to have this, and I got rid of it. <laughs> Here. I want to see if this white show over here is about. Oh, it's Lego. Lego at TF. Go Prime. All right, let's keep moving. That's some cool art, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh wait, Dad, that's the thing I want for my birthday. The thing from Hasbro Pulse. I don't want to touch that actually. Everything might fall over. Wow, the Optimus and everything's already gone. Thirty for a core. Yikes. Stuff here, man. Pop spin. Forty. Why is that actually not bad? I don't know. Where do you want to go? You can't see your logo or your YouTube thing on the back. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to do that. Alright guys, lunch day two, um, yeah so we just finished napkins, we just finished TFCon day one, I'll do a little recap on that later after the falls, so yeah I've got my Joritos, trying this for the first time, it's actually pretty good, uh, chicken quesadilla and mom's got a chicken quesadilla, so yeah, time to go see the falls, bye guys. Falls. We're getting close. So many That's the one we saw just then. It's exclusive. Yeah, he's also pricey. You pay for quality. 
Get it. I like I like this drift. That's a cool figure. I got a mini version of that. This? Oh, yeah. This also looks crazy. That's what? Crazy. This is a Dinobot. I'm not gonna point my camera up at that. That's stupid. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. All good, all good. Sound Blaster. Such a cool figure. Yeah, Grimlock's up here, kit. Little mini wheelie, too. Yeah. We just, we got, we got a sword from Nonaf, but, um, just get the sword and give it to somebody else. Yeah, I know, that's, I was kind of thinking about that, too. I was like, dang, I can't see any of them. Stuff over here. Transformers Prime stuff. Costs too much money. Let's look over here. Oh, dang, Toy Colors Galvatron looking nice. Looking nice. And he's cheap on Amazon, too. No way. Dang, G2 Megatron looks good, too. Yeah. I, I do. That's the one I just sold to the dude over there. Yeah. I've got him thinking about him. I, I did say 30. He negotiated now. So I was like, well, let me just get rid of it. Say 30 and give me five bucks off this one right here. I didn't really want anything over there. TF Con day one was a success. Got a lot of awesome figures that you'll see at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Um, a lot of good deals. One I'm holding now. Jeez. Um, met that toy guy, super cool. I'll mention him in the in the description. So if he sees this, then that'd be sick. Um, so thank you for being so cool, man. Um, really appreciate that. I'll put a picture here. Um, uh, that means you gotta wrap it up. So yeah. Look at the pine trees. Are they cool? They're trees. They're so yeah. <laughs> Great day. Well, let's see what he's holding. The Mara for sure. Everybody bully Cliff Jumper. This thing is enormous. Guys, it's me. It's, 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 it's me. It's me. So next we went to the castle. Saw some cool stuff. You can pause this yeah. if you want to read it. And then we saw some cars. You know, I wonder if those turn into anything. Like, are there any Transformers like that? You guys let me know down in the comments. Uh, also, let me know if you want a full video because I have a lot more footage of this. <laughs> Even then, that's still a tiny bed. Aquarium. I also have more footage of this. You guys like know. Oh, oh, those are big shrimp. Big guy back there too. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. Specific stuff spotted shrimp. But then, guys, something very unexpected happened. Power. power just went out while we're at the aquarium. It's freaking me out. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like they're uh, kicking us out because the storm got really bad. Um, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's all right, we're gonna get our money back on this. But... Yeah, they can see you. Yeah, they can. You can see the fish there. Kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah. The power went out in the parking lot thingy. Look at this. It's like a horror movie down here. I feel like Pennywise about to jump me. So basically there was a huge storm, lots of flooding and everything in Toronto. So all power in Toronto went out. Well, in the major downtown city. Like everybody had to be pushed out of the buildings and everything. Um, it was kind of crazy. So uh, luckily the airport maintained uh, power. So we luckily were able to get home okay. But if not, then we may not have been able to come home. Uh, at least as early as we thought. So, if that's why you're wondering in the title why I almost couldn't come home, that's why. So, th the storm is pretty crazy. I think that toy guy mentioned in his video, um, his newest video as of recording this, I'll play it now. There's a lot of thunder happening, so the power might go out. That's fun. If you hear thunder, just pretend it's epic or something. I don't know. Well guys, I am back from TFCon. It was a great process, great, just a great time. Um, I love TFCon. It's seriously one of my favorite things to do, <laughs> spending money and stuff. But uh, let me just show you what I got because some of you might know, I mean, I've shown it off in a few streams and stuff. Go check the streams out. If you, I have a whole stream touring the whole place and all that stuff, all the art and everything. I'll have those streams linked in the description uh, if you want to see the full thing. If like I know I only showed a brief pauses of like each part, but um, I think it's good for you guys to go there and experience it really for yourself because really when you walk in there for the first time, it is overwhelming. Like I was pre I was prepared to do it. Um, myself, since it's my second time, but I really was not prepared. I'll be honest with you. Um, but let me show you what I got. So the first thing that I got was a mint sealed shatter. Um, I got this for $47 US. I'm going to tell you guys all the US prices. You'll see these. I'm going to tell you US. Um, I also did offers and stuff, so don't worry about it this price um so yeah 47 us for brand new shatter super excited now i need to get dropkick next up i got a top spin oh i got him for 29.99 or just 29 bucks because him and origins jazz both both cost me 58 us so yeah, the next thing I got was a animated skyward. Don't worry, this is complete. I just have parts in a bin. I still have yet to actually put all of these on the shelf. Um, I will be doing a live stream of cleaning everything up because that will be a big stream. Um, so I got him and trail cutter for what the heck is oh 18 each. Not bad. Next up, I got. Um, Fall of Cybertron Blaster and uh, Cybertron Thundercracker for 22, so 11 each. It's not bad. Next up, I got Cannonball Complete and Armada Starscream, who's complete. He's in the other room, being uh, I'm grabbing batteries for him. Um, but I got those two together for $11 total, so it's not bad. 
Next up, I got Fall of Cybertron Megatron, who's also, he's missing a missile, and then Energon um, Slug Slinger for, I think it was 11? Yeah, 11 bucks. So that's really good. Next up, I got Magnus and Teradive for 11 bucks each. Um, Teradive is complete. Magnus is missing his hammer and one panel, but... We must return the old spark to Cybertron. The electronics still work, which is awesome. And not very awesome. He, he makes a lot of sound sometimes, but I don't care. I, I, oh, it's awesome. Next up, I got a, a little bit banged up. Generations Drift, an animated Ironhide who doesn't have his thingies. I don't care. Um, and his Autobot logo is gone. Um, I got these two for uh, $7 each, so not bad. Not bad at all. Next up, I got a Shock Blast for 14 bucks. He's missing a few things, which, eh. He's missing his battery cover, a few things here and there, but, eh. Eh. He's so advanced for an Energon figure. It's kind of crazy, and his electronics still work. So cool. I love electronics and figures. I got a Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper. Um, it's the one with the G1 head, so it's a little weird, but I got that figure for uh, 22 bucks, so that's a good deal. Got Fall Cybertron Optimus. He's only missing his gun, but I got him for 11 bucks. Then this was a big buy. This is um, Mind Wipe. I got him for $43. I don't, he doesn't have Sky Stalker, who's a little guy who goes with him. I don't think he came with him. I think they're separate leases, but they are compatible. Um, so I'll try to track one of those down to hopefully give him his companion piece. So that's cool. Then I got some parts for my Defensor. So the hands and feet, uh, that was, uh, how much was that? $29, but... You know, it'll help complete the figure, make it even better. So that's okay. And then I got some custom parts for my, for a custom. Um, that was $14. I got um, this hoist figure, the ratchet figure, and um, another figure. Hoist, ratchet, and... Um, uh, maybe it was just those two. Oh, and Onslaught. I got those all for 17, 17 bucks. So, yeah. And then I got this exclusive here. Can't wait for this figure. It's going to be awesome. Um, and then I got some art. So let me show you the art. So I can't actually pull it out right now. So here's a picture. There's a Party King, a Hot Rod, RC Springer, Megatron Galvatron, Tidal Wave, Omega Prime, like an Optimus Prime. Um, there's one more. Oh, the Gigawatt. So really cool stuff. Uh, I, I paid like $74 for it. So supporting the local artists there and getting some awesome art to hang in the studio. So I think it was pretty sweet. I'd say it was pretty worth it. So yeah. And I want to give a quick shout out to our members. Thank you so much for joining. If you uh, do want to join, it would be much appreciated. Um, so thank you to all of our members here. I appreciate you. And shout out to you. Speaking of shout outs, Freddy Fazboy says, Hi, I'm Freddy. 
I like FNAF, but that's kind of obvious. Uh, I'm going to start a theory channel where I talk about, of course, FNAF theories, FNAF books, FNAF merchandise, play the FNAF games, and talk about all the things included in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Absolutely, no one will be left out no matter what you think or believe in. No one will be left out, and if you have a theory you want to see, just comment. Don't be scared to ask. I'm glad to take ideas from the comments, and some things will not be tolerated. Example, anything rude, negative, disrespectful, offensive, or just flat out rude. So on my channel, everyone will be included, so no no theory too big, no theorist too small who gets included. That would be all. You can subscribe if you want. If you do, thank you so much, but I'm not going to beg you. Gus is a boy who loves playing soccer and loves action figures. He loves to make stop motions and sharing them. His YouTube channel is called Prime Motion Productions. Go check him out. Chase is a YouTuber who has 352 subs and makes Transformers stop motion content. None of his videos ever get many views, so... You guys should go check him out. He makes great stuff. My name is Nasir. My YouTube is Transviewer, and I want to pitch an idea for some Friday Night Funkin' Pibby Apocalypse developers. If you don't know what Pibby Apocalypse is, it's about an apocalypse where this glitchy substance corrupts cartoons and kids shows, from Mickey Mouse to Adventure Time to Loud House, etc. Go look up some of the songs. There's even one on Sesame Street called Tantrum. Search up Tantrum FNF to listen to it if you haven't already. I have not seen one made for the Transformers yet. The 86 show would be perfect for it, especially since it's the Transformers 40th anniversary. If you could help me out, that'd be great. Hi, I'm Orion Prime 127 I'm a small-time Transformers content creator starting a new project called Transformers Regroup. I hope I get the shout-out because I currently have 14 subscribers. I will do skills, updates on my life, and mostly things Transformers-related. Thanks. Crowdboy16 is a small creator from Scotland who makes edits and now reviews on his channel. Go give him some love. A person that tries his best with his videos and even spends money to the editor app to make a better quality videos for fans, even though he's at 50 subs. And his favorite channel on YouTube is me. Starscream Productions makes little Transformers videos and other things like Minecraft. And also, subscribe to Stellar's Prime or I'm not going to finish that. My channel is just something stupid. Hey, wait a minute. Jokes aside, my channel is where I just post collection stuff, hunts, my opinions, Transmetal 2 Megatron stuff. Now. Just now. It's a great figure. Magnus just posts all kind of video game content, memes, and more. Go check him out. Here at Flashlight Studios, I make quality-ish Transformer stop motions. I have hobbies like playing the guitar, reading, collecting Transformers, and art. Speaking of art, I made my own profile picture for my channel, which is a three-eyed robot. Anyways, Transformers was the first piece of media I ever liked, and when thinking of making my channel, I got into stop motion, so I thought, why not combine the two? Now, creating this channel, I can share my love for Transformers and stop motion with the world. Random's working on a series called New Order. It's a story about First Day trying to figure out how to stop Scourge from taking over all of Cybertron. He has his own team, as well as Shift and Mercy. But what's this? The past is caught up to First Aid? Bludgeon is hunting. Coming sometime. Hi, I'm Transformers Lord. I do customs, stop motions, and reviews on my channel. I'm hoping to hit 1k by the end of the year. I'm also making a stop motion series called Transformers Rise. The first episode has been finished, and I just need voice actors. So, go help them out. MillerWolf96 makes stop motion videos, reviews, and gaming videos. My name is Zenithimus Prime on YouTube. I currently have about 160 subscribers. I make any type of Transformers content, stop motions. Wow, you guys really do a lot of stop motions, don't you? Edits, memes, reveals, ish. I love making content like this and I I love making content like this and sharing my hobbies to people who show interest in them. I love making content like this and sharing my hobbies to people who show interest in them. I would also like to maybe start making money off my channel eventually. So, with that being said, I hope you guys liked your shoutouts, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is one of the biggest videos I've made yet. Big trip. Expensive trip. Um, so, please be sure to leave a like and do all that just to help support the channel. Thank you to my members, and thank you so much for watching. Peace. Thank mm -hmm.
Pinto Force out.